everybody knows that here at the Honey Bee Research and Extension Lab at the University of Florida, that we're committed to pushing the boundaries of knowledge in our field and making scientific discovery available to the public. What most people don't know is that we also want to make scientific progress easier for everybody. My name is Tomas Bustamante, and I'm a student here at the University of Florida. And I want to share with you a new project that's going to help us do that in a way that we've never done before. We get to experience firsthand how difficult research can be studying South African honeybees here in the lab. Our team had to measure the different anatomical features of thousands of bees in order to examine the differences between them. To make things easier, we decided to take pictures and then go back and do the measurements from the pictures later. The problem came when we went to go look for software that would help us do this. It had to be fast and easy to learn because we had a lot of community volunteers on our team. Now, there's a lot of good general purpose software out there, but there wasn't really anything that specifically fit our needs, so we decided to make it instead. And that's how the idea for Morphometric came to be. Morphometrics is the analysis of shape and structure. This often involves taking physical measurements from different animals and comparing them to one another. I'm going to show you how easy Morphometric makes that by measuring the length of honeybee forewings here on the screen. Morphometric sorts your data into projects, and within each project there are different measurement types that you configure to your own needs. Here, I'm going to select forewing length to let Morphometric know that that's the measurement that we're going to take. The final product will be able to automatically sort each image into the associated project on its own. This prototype that we're using doesn't know how to do that yet, so we're going to have to tell it where the images are. Measuring distance is easy in Morphometric. You just pick a start point and an end point. You don't even need to calibrate it if you're using a supported scope. Morphometric reads the metadata associated with each image and calibrates itself. Morphometric keeps track of which measurements you've done and which images you haven't seen yet, so that you're never doing the same work twice. It even does this across teammates, so that you can work with a bunch of other people to get big projects done. You can see how easily and quickly I'm collecting wing length information from these images. Imagine applying this to other types of projects, like those that use area or perimeter. These and more will be available in the final version of Morphometric. It will also include wizards, tutorials, and other resources that walk inexperienced users to the project, as well as additional tools for managing the project itself. In short, we're going to take this proof of concept and overhaul it into a sleek and user-friendly experience for helping prospective researchers or hobbyists navigate through the challenges of making their own Morphometric projects. This is where we need your help. We have a lot of resources here at the lab, but one thing that we don't have is the funding to cover the new labor costs associated with this six-month-long project. That's why I'm here on Indiegogo, to raise the money needed to support the work going into Morphometric. With this support, we can make an application that's easy enough for hobbyists and students to use, but robust enough for professional researchers like us. And we've got some pretty cool perks lined up for our supporters, including beautiful posters, digital copies of our research, the opportunity to be on our testing team or our brainstorming team, and a day here at the Honeybee Lab. And for our bee lovers out there, we've got some University of Florida Honeybee Research and Extension Lab equipment that you won't be able to find anywhere else. But even if you can't support us financially right now, be sure to give us a shout out on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Science shouldn't be hard to do, and with your help, we can make it easy. Morphometric is the next step. We can open up this amazing field to citizen scientists, students, hobbyists, and other enthusiasts. And we can make it easier for professional researchers and state agencies to do their work. The equipment's gotten to the point where just about anybody can own a microscope at home. In fact, here's one that I made myself. I think it's about time for the software to catch up, don't you?